what's up? If you clicked on this video, you're thinking about making a DIY cloud ceiling. Now, I've made one about two years ago, so I know the ins and outs, the do's and don'ts, and the things I would have changed coming up. I'm also going to give you a two-year update of what my cloud ceiling looks like today. Is it all on the ground? Did the LEDs burn out? Did it all go down in a blaze of glory? Well, you're going to find out right now. Let's hop into it. Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome. Welcome to Jazz and Marty. I'm Marty, and like I said, I made a DIY cloud ceiling. Now, I made mine about two years ago, so I'm going to show you the do's and don'ts and the things that I would have changed right here in this video so you won't make the same mistakes that I did, all right? Now, uh, if you haven't seen our DIY cloud sailing video, I'll put a link in the description box below or at the end of this video, but I want you to watch this video first so you won't make the same mistakes that I did, all right? So without any further ado, let's get this thing started. The first thing that I want to show you is what my cloud ceiling looks like today. Is it all messed up? Did the LEDs burn out? Is everything on the ground? Well, I'm going to show you right now. As you can see, everything looks the same as the day that I made it, all right? Now, it, it may look the same, but a few things have changed, all right? So, let me show you that right now. But before we hop into it. Did you subscribe? I know you subscribe, baby, that's just a formality, but if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button and a little notify bell next to it so you can be notified every time we post a video. Also, speaking of cloud ceilings, I'm going to do an update of my cloud ceiling, somewhat of a 2.0 version in the coming weeks. And if I can pull this off, this may be the coolest thing that I ever did on this channel. And I want you to see it. So hit that bell and hit that subscribe button and stay tuned because this one is going to be a doozy. Let's hop into the first thing. So the first thing that I would have changed was I would have used... Uh, glue gun and glue sticks instead of using spray adhesive now don't get me wrong the spray adhesive does hold for about four to five months then after that I was coming downstairs and I will see bits of polyfill on the floor and I would have to respray the adhesive and then stick the polyfill back up it was just getting a little too much so I decided to use a, a you know hot glue a glue gun and glue sticks and it gives you that strong bond that you need versus what the spray adhesive can. And also, the, the glue gun is like an instant hold. Like as soon as you put it on there, and you put a little polyfill up there, hold it up there for about like a second or two, it's up there and it's up there for good, all right? So like I said, use a glue gun and glue sticks instead of using spray adhesive, all right? Now let's head over to the next step. All right, so next, this is more of a suggestion versus, a, you know, a do or a don't. But uh, if you're renting, use command strips instead of duct tape. Now, mind you, my duct tape has been up there for two years. The duct tape has never fallen off the ceiling. It's been rocking and rolling ever since the day I put it up there. Now, but if you're renting and you want to remove your cloud ceiling, you will have to, because if it's duct tape on the ceiling, you have to go up there, sand it down, and then repaint the, the ceiling, all that stuff. But with command strips, you can just take the poster board off and then just redo it with more command strips. Now, it may be slightly more expensive, but it'll save you a little bit more work later on. So like, but you know me, I didn't mind putting duct tape on my ceiling because I can go back, sand it down, repaint it, and it'll be just like new. But like I said, if you're renting or if you know, your parents don't want you to do it, just kind of say, hey, you know, I can use command strips, take it down anytime you want me to do it and it won't damage the ceiling at all, all right? Now, before I head over to my final suggestion, uh, let's hop into the sponsor of today's video. It's me, y'all. I am the sponsor of today's video. Now, uh, what people do know is that I have a son. His name is Miles. He'll be one soon. 
Uh, what people don't know is that I have been working on a little project, okay? Uh, if your son is like mine, or if your child is like mine, uh, they like to get on your nerves just a little bit, just a wee bit. If it isn't screaming in your ear, or talking while you're trying to watch your program, or just climbing and, you know, doing all the stuff over you, you know, with love, it tends to get on your nerves, right? So I have the perfect thing for you, all right? So the project I've been working on is entitled DIY Kids Letter Tracing. Now, uh, basically what it is, it teaches your children how to uh, trace their letters and their numbers, and it also has uh, coloring pages in it, right? Countless hours of joy from your children and silence for you. Now, I've um, plopped this book down in front of Miles and I turned away for a split second, right? I turned back around and he is looking like this. A pure scholar, baby, all right? So, um, I'm not trying to show you anything. You know, I'm not trying to sell you anything. It feels like somebody wants to sell me something. <laughs> I told you he was on to us. Uh, if you want to check it out, I'll leave a link in the description box below. And if not, you know, I still love you anyway. All right. Now let's continue this video. All right. Now, finally, for those of you that are curious about this being a fire hazard or being dangerous, um, there's this product called Fire Guard Spray. Basically what it is, is you uh, you take the spray, it's for wood and paper, and you will spray it on your poster board, let it dry, and then you will put the LEDs and things like that on there, and it would help prevent from a fire starting if anything like that was to occur. Now, like I said in my previous video, the uh, RGB lights are cool to the touch and give off little to no heat. I ran my RGB lights for six hours straight and then I checked them with a temperature gun and when I came back and I checked on them, the temperature was the exact same, okay? So uh, if you use RGB, RGB lights instead of LED lights, uh, you should have no worries. But if you're still slightly concerned about it, you can purchase this um, fire guard spray and that would kind of ease your worries a little bit, okay? That's pretty much it. Now let's conclude this thing. All right, y'all, now that's pretty much it for my do's and don'ts and things that I would have changed. We can run them down real quick. Um, use a glue gun and glue sticks instead of spray adhesive. Um, use command strips instead of duct tape if you don't want to damage your ceiling or have to paint later. And also, uh, if you're worried about it being a uh, fire hazard, you can purchase fire guard spray and that will help alleviate what uh, issues you may have with that. All right, now uh, that's pretty much it. Now, if you like this video, please hit that like and that share button. Head over to the Jazz and Marty Facebook page where we always post some updates on DIY and craft videos. And we're not just on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. We also on TikTok. Where we y'all, you just gotta look for us, okay? And uh, like I said earlier in this video, we are working on a 2.0 version of our cloud ceiling, okay? And if we can pull this off, it may be the coolest thing we've ever done on this channel. And I want you to be there when that happens. So please hit that subscribe button and that little notify bell next to it, all right? Like that, this will be the end.